All right, subscribers. So what we have today is a few example problems. I'm gonna do three of them, and then I will expect you to do the remaining five. So there's a total of eight questions uh, that need to be answered. So we're dealing with resistance. And remember, the formula for resistance is R equals your volts divided by your current, which we call that I. So we're gonna utilize that formula throughout all of these problems. I'm gonna do problems one, three, and four. So problem one says, find the resistance of a portable lantern that uses a 24 volt power supply and draws a current of 0 0.80 amps. So again, we're going to write out what we know and what we don't know and then we're gonna plug those back into the equation. So the resistance, it says find the resistance. So that is our question mark. That's what we're going to need to find. Our V for volts is given at 24 volts. And then our I for amps is given at 0 0.8 amps. So we write down 0 0.80 amps. Now all we need to do is plug this back into our equation. So R, equals 24 volts divided by 0 0.80 amps. Now I'm gonna plug this into my calculator. So I'm going to take, I'm going to take 24 divided by 0 0.80 amps and I get a resistance of 30. Now this can be expressed as 30 volts per amp, or more commonly used, this is 30 ohms, okay? So that would become our answer. Now, moving down to number three, we're gonna solve for a different portion of the, our, our formula here. And so remember, we're still using the same formula of R equals V divided by I. And the problem says, the current in a video game is 0 0.50 amps. If the resistance in the game circuit is 12 ohms, we want to know what is the voltage of the battery. So the resistance is given in ohms, which it is 12 ohms. And the voltage, we don't know. It says, hey, go find the voltage. But the resistance, or excuse me, the uh, amps is given at... 0 0.50 amps. So now we're going to solve for our V for volts. So we're gonna have 12 ohms equal to our V for volts. We don't know what it is. All divided by 0 0.50 amps. Now, what we need to do is we need to cross multiply. So we're gonna cross multiply 12 times 0 0.50. So in my calculator, I'm gonna take 12 times 0 0.50, press enter. We get a voltage of six. So our V for volts becomes six volts, or if you just wanna put V for volts, that is completely fine as well. The last problem I'm gonna do here is number four. So we're gonna utilize the same formula of the resistance equals volts divided by current. And so it says a 1.5 volt battery is connected to a small light bulb that has a resistance of 3.5 ohms. We want to know what is the current of the light bulb. So the resistance in ohms is given at 3.5 ohms. Okay. The V for volts is given at 1.5 volts. And then our amps or our current is something we don't know. So we're gonna set 3.5 ohms equal to our volts, which is 1.5 volts, all divided by the I, the current, which we don't know. Now we need to cross multiply. And remember, when we cross multiply, we're gonna to have to have equal fractions. So we're gonna put the 3.5 over one. And I'm first going to take 3.5 ohms times the I. So when you do that, you get 3.5 ohms times I, and then we cross multiply the other diagonal, 
And so we're gonna take one times 1.5, and that becomes 1.5 volts, okay? So to get I by itself, we divide each side by 3.5 ohms. Divide each side by 3.5 ohms. And so our current, what we need to do in our calculator to find our current is we need to take 1.5 divided by 3.5. We press enter and we get a, a current if we round to two decimals of 0.43 amps remember i here is in amps so 0.43 big a for amps all right so i have showed you how to, to solve for each and every variable of the uh, resistance formula i need you to do problem two on this page and then on the next page i need you to do problems five six seven and eight and turn this assignment in hey i hope you have enjoyed this video and uh, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe.